NASA's partnership with SpaceX has reinvigorated America's interest in space exploration. And San Diego has become a big part of that excitement. In March, a Navy pilot from the USS Reagan led a group of astronauts to the International Space Station as part of Crew 8. This was that launch. Days later, that crew arrived to open arms aboard the ISS. This footage shows the moment that University of San Diego alum Matt Dominic went inside the space station. And right now, Commander Dominic is joining us from space. Matt, this is kind of cool for me. It's my first time interviewing anyone from space, but it's your first time in space, which I think is even cooler, right? Absolutely. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. It's just a great place to be, and I'm glad this is your first time talking to us. Tell us a little bit about Expedition 71, Matt, and what you're doing up there, what kind of research you're working on. Oh, man, we do so many different things across so many international partners. Right now, our space station, you know, we kind of go in flows just like a Navy ship. Uh, right now, we're in a maintenance period for a couple weeks as we fix things. We take out the trash. We, we put things away. We reorganize. and We get ready for another phase of science. So when I first got up here a few months ago, we were raging through science, uh, doing experiments from all different countries around the world, 3D printing, you know, uh, parts of the human body for, in space, like cardio uh, heart parts. Uh, it was really incredible science growing plants. Uh, working with with people from around the world just raging in science and then we go into a maintenance period and we're getting ready to do a big science push here in a couple weeks so Matt you are from the San Diego uh, area at least you went to school here USD and then your Navy career how did all of that your time in San Diego and in the Navy prepare you for this career now as an astronaut Uh, we, you know, up here on the space station, we have to do everything, right? We're maintainers, we're scientists, we're engineers, we're operators, uh, and we have to do all of those jobs. And so the background of a liberal arts education where you get to have, you know, a wide breadth of knowledge and education and then operational experience from the United States Navy uh, and flying airplanes comes forth and all comes together because you got to be a master of all, all trades up here in the space station. So you've been up there for about three months. What's it like for somebody who's experiencing their first time in space? What is that experience like? Oh, I mean, obviously, I, I think you I, you just rolled the video coming through into the hatch to the space station. It's an incredible experience. And you just grow a little bit each day as you become more and more accustomed to your environment. At first, just like keeping track of things is, is really hard. Like everything just tends to float off. Wait, and you, uh, you, you kind just, of try to manage that, and you get better and better at it, and eventually you're comfortable with it. <laughs> That's right. You're just you're just letting the microphone float right there. Are you in like microgravity? Right? <laughs> right. It's just floating around in space. It's got to be a weird feeling. It's it's a great feeling floating around in space, and you know uh, we've been trying to get ready for the Olympics coming up, and we've been practicing uh, some gymnastics up here for maybe doing an Olympic intro video, uh, and we're just having a real blast doing it, getting better and better each day at uh, flying in space. What's the biggest adjustment from uh, life on terraforma here on Earth to life in space? Is it the gravity? Is it the bathroom that everyone always talks about? Like, what's the what's the one thing that's been the the weirdest adjustment for you? I don't know where you're hanging out that everybody's always talking about the bathroom, but uh, just getting used to just floating all the time. And after a while, you know, like after a couple of weeks, I thought it was normal. And you go through these cycles of this is crazy to this is normal to this is crazy. Uh, but floating around everywhere is is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're in your crew quarters and you brush your teeth and you can be, you know, working within three minutes by floating there. You know, my commute to work is floating down a hallway. It's pretty awesome. We all wish we had a commute like that. Matt, everybody here in San Diego is proud of you. We are behind you 100%. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.